Good morning. Um, it's Sunday morning, um, and I am reading from St. Uh, Luke chapter 7. Uh, this is about faith and forgiveness. Um, then said he unto the disciples, it is, it is impossible, but that offenses will come. But warn to him through whom they, they come. It wrong, it will it will it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves if thy brother trespass if thy if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him and if he repent forgive him. <sighs> Take heed to yourselves if that oh, yeah I read them. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day, they so, and, and seven times in a day, turn again to thee, turn again to thee, saying, I repent. Thou shalt forgive him. And the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it should obey you <coughs> uh, but which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by, by and by when he is come from the field go and sit down go and sit down to me and will not rather say unto him make ready whether Wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward, afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he think that servant, that servant, because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow, I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done... <laughs> We have done that which was was our duty to do. Okay, this one confused me a little bit. But, and it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And okay. And when he saw, and when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they were, they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell on his face and at his feet, giving him thanks. And <laughs> and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are but where are the nine? There are not found that there are not found that return to give God to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith have made thee whole. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they sh and they shall say to you, see here or see or see there, go not after them nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth lighteneth out of the one part under heaven sh shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall all the son of man, also the son of man, be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall Noah, so shall it so shall 
it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and, and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But this, but the same day, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, uh, but the same day that, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. <clears throat> Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Who wheresoever the body is, Thither will the eagles be gathered together. <coughs> I don't really know what this is, but um, Lord, I thank you on today for your word. I pray for peace. Um, this word to me says, as as far as our our faith and forgiveness, number one, we can't have God on our heart. And expect to to um, to stay focused on God and to be able to, to to praise Him and worship Him the way we need to. Um, for His Word says to worship Him in truth and spirit. This word in particular, for me, um, is just to forgive people and and know that we can through faith we can do anything. And, um, and then we are to wait for God because no man knows when he, when the day he'll be here. None of us know. None of us know when Jesus is going to return. He did not, he told none, he told us that none of us are going to know. Um, I woke up thinking that and it is, um, it's a lot of evil in the world. It's a lot of um, evil people in the world who want to see destruction, who want to see everybody watching porn, everybody in uh, lust and um, uh, up under sexual servitude. Um, S&M is very rampant right now where people are just torturing each other and it, to them it's sex, um, you know, um, but it's very... Um, it destroys somebody. It destroys somebody's faith and their thought process on who really created them and it's God. Um, the word, this word said, if you if you lose your life, you'll gain it. Um, losing your life in Christ means to trust Him, to be baptized, to be filled with the Holy Ghost, um, and to walk in not walk in sin anymore, and and to, and to repent. And to repent means to turn away from sin. Um, there are going to be offenses that are going to come. There are going to be things that there are going to be things that are going to come against you. But if you trust God, God will give you the peace that you need to get through the day. He'll give you the peace you need when you wake up in the morning. So just trust God and keep the faith. Have a blessed day.